Hi, I'm Jim, W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. This is a dipole antenna that I'm going to use in the next episode. To test it, I used this 100 foot length of coax from a prior episode where I put 1500 watts into it. Well, guess what? This coax looks great, although this end is slightly, yeah, maybe slightly darker than this end. It's 100 feet of RG8X. Put a, uh, 1500 watts into one end, and the other end was connected to, well, one end to the linear amplifier, the other end to the dummy load. So I hooked it up to this dipole, and I was trying to make some tests of what, for example, at this length, because this dipole extends where this was resonant. I was getting squirrely answers. And one of them was the length of the coax was inches, or maybe just a couple of inches, which made no sense. So I got out another nano VNA that was new in the box, hooked it up, same result after I did the calibration. So I swapped it around. I put this end into the uh, nano VNA and this end um, into the antenna. Now it showed a length of coax of a hundred feet, but it showed the distance to a short at a hundred feet. You're, so you've already guessed what's wrong. Apparently, it, uh, during the test of uh, of this coax. And something that didn't get recorded, and I didn't, I didn't include it in the comments. Uh, many people said I should have stretched out the coax instead of having it coiled up, and I, I did do that. And I put the power to it, and in the process of doing that, the linear amplifier, which is still being repaired by me, blew up. I mean, it was nasty. I lost all kinds of parts. Come to, and I didn't know why that happened, so I went to test this coax, it shorted right at the PL59 on one end, the end that was plugged into the linear amplifier. So when I put keyed it for 1500 watts, the amplifier was looking at a dead short right at the uh, SO239 and it destroyed all kinds of stuff. So, what am I saying? Okay, I put 1500 watts into this coax and one end shorted. Now the coax um, didn't really handle the power. Uh, KP4MD did some calculations and the doctor also indicated that it was probably beyond the capability of the coax. So, this coax purchased from a merchant in the United States um, shorted at one end, blowing up my linear amplifier. And I'm going to cut it off and put on a, uh, uh, I'll crimp on, in fact, I'll do both ends. It shorted because it apparently got too hot. I'll try to do a forensic look at it, uh, see if it's dark on the inside. Um, here's another tricky thing, and I, it isn't going to show up on the cameras, but this shows phenolic. It looks like brown phenolic on the inside. I will bet you that that's not phenolic, that that's some kind of plastic that's colored brown to make it look like it's phenolic. And I'll dig into that when I take it apart. Okay, so what's the point? Um, turns out my nano VNA was fine. The second one was fine. Um, the dipole works and I'll show you. There's some things that go on with that that are interesting. This coax is garbage. This coax connector uh, just flat shorted out. If you were like me and you had this hooked up, for those who say that they can use uh, RG8X, most of the time they're buying it with the coax connectors in place. 
Um, I can't recommend this gray stuff. It's everywhere. And um, it um, indicates it's made OE, it says OEM USA. So if you were using this on your Ameritron, I think it's what, an AL82? And you put 1500 watts into this coax and it's shorted, you might be facing a very expensive repair bill. So don't use this stuff at 1500 watts.